Chachi brought how many eyeshadow palettes? Four. Four eyeshadow palettes. So I'm like, oh wow, Chachi's probably gonna have so many cool, different, fun, exciting eye looks. I opened this shit up. <laughs> They're the colors that I like. I like to have my options. Okay. Four palettes for tour. They're the same fucking palette four times. <laughs> Chachi looks the same every day, which is fine. It's a beautiful look. But did you really need to bring four of the same palette to achieve? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, Chachi. I want Pokemon. This stories. is fucking me up. Lately, you guys know I've been talking about my skincare and like my face is breaking out and all this stuff. Everything on my fucking feed on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram is shit like this. They're listening to us! Ricky's a victim! Last night, me and Dustin discussed how good Wendy's fries are. Boom, Wendy's ad on Facebook. There we go. Ricky was trying to get ads to pop up. He was like, wait, let me see if I can get them to give me ads. <laughs> Pokemon! Pokemon! We're gonna get a Pokemon one. It takes time for it to work. Later today, Pokemon ad is gonna come. Wait for it. Okay. I don't understand the issue. I think it's nice. <laughs> Obviously, on tour, in between shows, we have downtime. Sometimes we're on the bus. Sometimes we're just sitting around in dressing rooms. And people wonder what I do. Actually, no. Let's talk about this for a second. The other day, there were a bunch of people outside. And it was kind of, it was a little bit rude because they were yelling at Rob. This is Rob. This is Robin, our tour manager. And he went outside and there were people I think I'm not gonna say what city it was but they were yelling at him and they were just like we paid good money come out here and it's like well you yeah you paid good money thanks for coming but like we have a meet and greet we meet everybody we take a picture with everybody I feel like sometimes you guys think that when you guys are waiting outside and you want us to come out and meet you that we're just kind of like not doing anything we're just sitting around being whatever I don't know but we get here we work out we shower, we get ready, we have to eat at some point. So like before and after the show, we're eating. And then I'm posting 10 to 11 videos a week on YouTube, I'm editing. So if you guys are like, come out, come out, come out. I'm not just like in here like, oh, I don't wanna talk to them. I'm just working or exercising or eating or catching my breath before we're doing the next thing, you know? So that kind of made me sad that you guys were like, oh, we paid good money and they can't come talk to us. Cause you know, it's not what it is. It's just, we're, Kind of doing some stuff back here, but we do get to meet everybody. We meet everyone, we hug everyone, we take a picture with everyone. So I hope everybody is satisfied with that because honestly, how many shows do you go to where you meet the person? Like every single person that comes to the show gets to meet the people they're coming to see, you know? Right, Jack? That is so right, Gabby. <laughs> but anyway, I do have some downtime. <laughs> downtime. Uh, but usually I'm editing, but sometimes I do just need to like kind of relax and chill. So I will read a book or I will play a game. And I'm so excited because you guys remember I did that video um, with Alex James where Best Fiend sponsored me. And I lit I'm not even like effing with you right now. I became so obsessed with that game afterwards that when I went to London, I spent so much time in London in my hotel room playing the game. It's legitimately fun. And I was like, if you guys ever want me to work with you again, please hit me up. And they did actually hit me up. And I actually play the game all the time. So I was really excited to talk about it again. It was really easy and authentic for me to talk about it this time. While I'm back here, while I'm on the tour bus, when I'm in the dressing room, when I'm in a hotel playing this game. And I actually, this is the most tragic thing in the entire world. When I lost my phone, hi Ricky. Hey. When I lost my phone, by the way guys, this is so awkward. I'm doing this brand integration and everybody's in the dressing room trying to get ready and I was like, everybody needs to shut up for a minute because I have to do this brand thing. No, but I was so freaking upset because I got really, really, really far on the game and then I lost my phone, I lost everything, re-downloaded the app and I lost all of my levels so I had to work my way up again. So I'm on level 72 right now. So basically it's a puzzle game by matching the same colored objects to defeat the slugs with these guys who you keep upgrading and evolving and this month since it's December, they made the entire game into a holiday wonderland, which is so effing cute. So connect the game to Facebook and you compete with your friends and see if you can beat me, tweet me, let me know where you're at. Obviously the game is free, so there's nothing to lose. Just download it, it's in the link in the description. Rob, our tour manager, <laughs> literally just went and got his phone and he's downloading it right now because I must be a really good spokesperson for Best Fiends. He was like, wait a minute, I like those types of games and I like evolving characters and now he's downloading it so you're welcome best fiends <laughs> i am just perpetually getting yelled at by the tour managers and stuff because we have so much to do in the morning right now i have to sign all the posters which takes so much longer than you think it would take but i also had to edit today's vlog and then i have to edit tomorrow's youtube video and then i have to start putting together tomorrow's vlog as well so lots of editing today my hair is flat i'm not going on tour i'm getting my back cracked this is the first VIP of the day. Oh, whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> Holy shit! Did you hear that? 
It was so it was loud. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna talk to her in a sec on the vlog, but this is Showstopper Sam. She is. Oh hi, Andrew. Uh, this totally is Showstopper Sam. Get me out. <laughs> She's just one of my biggest supporters. She literally tweets me every day. We have conversations. She's so incredible. She brought me a back massager. Wait, say hi. Hi. This is crazy. I'm meeting everybody. This tour was the best thing I've ever done. It was insane. There's this quote again. We have a Pikachu impression. Pikachu. She goes to a private school, she skipped school, and she dyed her hair, and now I'm putting it on the internet. So she's probably gonna get kicked out. Sorry. I was your 314th subscriber. What the fuck? <laughs> Walking to the venue in the cold again. Still not in my contract. Oh man, sure am cold. What is this random ass fan doing in the dressing room? Oh my god, get him out! Ava's still looking for her fans. <laughs> Ava's famous now, she never does her makeup, she's over here powdering her hair. Gets name chanted once. More shit. Gets name chanted once. Contours. She's curling her lashes, look <laughs> Ava, you're so famous! <laughs> Ava's turning into a diva already! <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> he just said, we might need a bigger bus for that ego. <laughs> These kids are just singing jingle bells. They're caroling. Can you hear it? You probably can't hear it. They're caroling at our show. Why? I don't even need to perform. I'm taking the night off. What is this balloon? That balloon is attached to a ghost. I don't care what anybody says. These are the donations from Charlotte. Do we know where they're going? Boys and Girls Club. Boys and Girls Club! Holla, thank you. You guys were a very generous city. You're absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That was it for Charlotte. Tomorrow is Nashville, but until then...